let's take a look at one more problem from last class period in which we've got some transition matrix which tells us how a system changes from one cycle to the next. We also have an initial state matrix. So what I'm going to do here is let me just discuss this this state right here, this transition matrix. Um, and I'm going to do it with a transition diagram so that you get a visual um, of what's going on here. So we've got two states, A and B. So there's some object, we don't know what it is, but it's going to go between state A and state B. If you want to, we can make something up and we can say state A is, I don't know, maybe um, being enrolled in school and state B is being unenrolled or not enrolled. I'm just making something up here. But it's nice to think about the different states here um, as actual objects so that when we discuss, well, how are we going, what does it mean to go from A to A? What does that mean? Well, how we read the diagram is this. So let me draw out the transition or the, um, yeah, the transition diagram here. So we've got state A. And some people are in state A, meaning some people are enrolled. Okay? And then we've got state B. And that's some people are not enrolled. Okay, so we've got some system in which people are enrolled in school or people are not enrolled. Okay, fair enough. Now, how we read this is this col this this right here, this column right here, which represents the rows, these guys, and I'll put these guys a color code them for you here. Let's go like this. Let's say that they're A and B. The green represents where we start. And let's put these guys in a different color. Let's do orange. And the orange represents where we end. Okay. So a person that starts in A and stays in A that would look like this, start in A and come back and stay in A. That happens 80% of the time, or 0.8. Now, if you start in A and then you transfer over to B, so if we start in A, we transfer to B, that happens 20% of the time. If we start in B and come back to B, that happens... 60%. So B to B is 0.6. And then, of course, to start in B and head over to A is 0.4. So let's discuss these numbers. Well, 80% of the people are currently enrolled and will stay enrolled in the system. 20% of the people then are currently enrolled, who are currently enrolled, will drop out and become unenrolled. 60% of the people that are currently unenrolled stay unenrolled, and 40% of the people that are unenrolled currently will enroll in the next period. Okay. Now, some of the people in here will, will keep staying, some of the people will cycle out and come back. Okay, so we've got some kind of um, situation where things are entering into different states and, and leaving the, the states as well. Okay. So this is the transition diagram for this transition matrix. So this is a transition matrix. And this is a transition diagram. Now we're going to start off with a system in which 30% of the people are in this first state, which will be state A. So 30% are enrolled and 70% are unenrolled or not enrolled. Now how do I know that this is A and that this is B? Well, we we go for our we just follow just like we would a top here, okay? So if this is A and this is B, then this is A and this is also B. There's better ways of, of looking at that, but they're more confusing in terms of enlightening you to why why that is the way it is. So just remember that that that's our those are our states where we're, what our initial values are. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can take a look to see how this system changes 
if we've got a 30% enrollment in A to start and a 70% enrollment in B to start. So how this would work is just like a tree diagram. So I'm going to draw a tree diagram for this over here. So we have a transition diagram and now I'm going to do the tree diagram. So initially 30% are in A and 70% are in B. Now if they're in A they can stay in A or they can go to B and if they're in B they can go to A or they can stay in B. Now if they're in A and they want to stay in A that happens 80% of the time. If they're in A and they want to go to B that happens 20% of the time. Notice that these add up to 1. Now if they're in B and they want to go to A that happens 40% of the time. That's this right here. And if they're in B and want to stay in B, that happens 60% of the time. So if we multiply down each of the trees, we have 0.3 times 0.8, which is 0 0.24, 0 0.3 times 0 0.2, which is 0 0.06, 0 0.7 times 0.4 is 0.28, and 0.7 times 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. Two. And if we add all of this up, we have 30 up here plus another 70 down here, so it's 100. Now what else can we read off of this tree diagram? Well, we know that after one cycle, the total that are left in A, the total amount of people that are enrolled is this guy plus this guy. So that'll be uh, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.4, so 0 0.52 it looks like. So these are, this is what's in A after one cycle, and how many, what percentage of the people are in B is going to be 0 0.06 plus 0 0.42, which is 0.48. So our state 1, which means after one cycle, we've got 0.52.48. Now another way to come to the same conclusion without drawing out a tree diagram is to do the multiplication of the matrices. So what we'll do is we'll take our initial state, we'll not multiply it by our transition matrix, which we're calling P in this case. It can be called whatever you want. A lot of times they call it T. And that'll be equal to the current state or the state after one cycle. So what we'll do is we'll take the initial matrix which if you go back and you look was 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and we'll multiply that by the transition matrix Now when you multiply, this is a 1 by 2, 1 row, 2 columns. This is a 2 by 2. So the middle guys match and what's left over is a 1 by 2. So we'll have 1 row, 2 columns. So I need to get 2 entries. Well to get this guy right here, it is in row 1, column 1. So I'm going to take row 1, multiply it by column 1. So what it'll be is it'll be 0.3 times 0 0.8 plus 0.7 times 0.4. Let's expand this so that we're not running out of room here. Now what I want you to notice here, 0.3 times 0.8, here's 0.3 times 0.8, okay? And 0.7 times 0.4 is right here. So what it says is add these two guys together. So this is just a, this is just a different way of writing out 
the tree diagram up here. And so, of course, we don't need this point. We don't need this guy right here anymore. Of course, this is equal to 0.24 plus 0.28, which is going to give us 0.52. The other guy over here, To get this guy right here, that is in row one, column two. My computer's getting a little bit buggy, so hopefully the uh, the audio stays with this, and you can see all the stuff that I'm writing here. So I've got this row times this column, so that'll be 0.3 times 0.2 plus 0.7 times 0.6. So that'll give me 0 0.06 plus 0.42. And of course, that's equal to 0 0.52, 0 0.48, just like that. So we ended up taking our initial state matrix, multiplying it by the transition, and getting the new state out. So what this tells us, the big picture here, is we went from 30% being in state A to 52% being in state A. Well, that makes sense because a lot of people who are enrolled stay enrolled, and we're getting 40% from the people that are unenrolled. So we should see this guy start to increase. Okay, and that's exactly what we saw. Now, how do we do this in our calculator? So let's, I'm going to... Uh, attempt to pull up the calculator. It gets This gets real finicky on the um, recording screen here, but I'll give it a shot. You can already tell it's running slow. Okay, so again, to enter matrices. Well, the first matrix, if we want to do this multiplication out, over here, if we want to multiply, this just got messy. If we want to multiply these two matrices together, what we do is we go into this matrix thing by hitting seconds and this guy. And now we go over to edit and hit enter. Now we're going to need to put two matrices in here. So my matrix A will be this first guy right here. So I'll do 0.3. Whoops, sorry. First, I got to put the size in. So the size, this is a one row by two columns, so we'll do a one by two. And this will be 0.3 and 0.7. Notice that this guy has kind of looked like this guy. Okay, so now I'm going to hit second in mode, and that'll quit me back out to the main screen. And if I went back into the, my matrix stuff, I now see matrix A is in there, and if I want to type it out on the main screen, I just hit under names, I just hit enter. And it types it. And if I hit enter again, oh, there's my matrix. It shows a 0.3, a 0.7, and a um, one row, two column matrix. Let's clear it out. Now let's go enter matrix B, which is our transition matrix. So I'll go over to edit. But now I don't want to edit A, because obviously I already have something stored in there. So we'll go down to matrix B, hit enter. This is a 2 by 2. So we'll enter our values in 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0.6, just like that, and I'll quit out. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply those guys together. So I'll go back in to the matrix stuff, and I'm going to choose A, so hit enter there, hit the multiplication symbol, and then I'm going to choose B, hit enter, and now I'll hit enter here, and I'll multiply those guys together, and what do you know, we get this value here. So let's stop there. Okay, that should explain some of those first initial problems. Okay, um, and then let's—I'll uh, continue with maybe a, a little bit more advanced problems in the next video.